Welcome to Thermal Integration Made Easy, a video and download series that covers everything you need to know about integrating Teledyne FLIR thermal camera modules. Today, we're going to cover AGC and tuning with the Boson and Boson Plus, and how these capabilities dramatically enhance scene contrast and sharpness while improving tracking, secret performance, and decision support. There are many resources available to support integration at fleer.com slash boson. Another great resource is our support center found at fleer.com slash custhelp. Please note that all links will be included in the video description. Let's get started. What is AGC? Automatic gain control is the conversion of uncompressed, raw, or pre-AGC monochrome data from the 16 or 14 bit space to the 8 bit space. This data is then typically converted into color by the use of a color palette LUT conversion to a YCBCR output. It optimizes the contrast and look of the image to be displayed and viewed by the user. Please note that screen and display technology does not work with 14 or 16-bit monochrome images. Boson has many AGC parameters to tune for your application. Max gain increases contrast in low contrast situations, but will also increase other sources of noise. Linear percent increases the histogram spacing of objects with different temperatures, which will decrease overall contrast in dynamic scenes. Digital detail enhancement, also known as DDE, increases edge sharpness but increases high frequency noise. ACE, or adaptive contrast enhancement, it's a gamma light correction, skews the image to feature dark or light shades in the image. Boson features entropy mode by default which will deprioritize AGC in the regions with low contrast, like the sky, to allocate more space for other scene content. ROI can also be used to exclude regions in the image that are unimportant. Outlier cut percent can also be used for this, as it will ignore outlier values in the image, like the sky or something very hot or very cold, so as not to focus that AGC on prioritizing it. A new feature, Outlier Cut Balance, will allow the allocation of outlier cut to work on hot or cold objects. To eliminate the sky and other background scene content, a value of 0.1 is ideal. To properly tune an AGC, make some initial decisions about what qualitative aspects that you would like out of the imagery. For example, prioritizing contrast or lowering noise. To increase contrast, increase max gain in DDE. Do you want to enhance all the scene or specific objects? Increasing linear percent for specific objects, like a deer in a forest, or important hot or cold objects. ACE can also be decreased to have a similar effect while darkening most of the scene. ROI can be used for homing in on specific objects, especially in inspection-like applications where only one object is important in the image. ROI can be difficult to implement in a UI, so it must be thought through and carefully implemented. Do you need to implement AGC presets to cover different use cases with your product? One AGC setting may not be ideal for all use cases. Presets can allow optimal look and utility while reducing complexity. With your decided trade-offs in mind, bring a laptop and a camera into a characteristic environment and tune your AGC using the GUI on a Windows device. Make sure to save settings and use the configuration report tool in the Boson GUI to transfer settings between cameras easily. When tuning the AGC from defaults, here are a couple of presets to keep in mind for your project. Changing DDE to 1.25 to improve sharpening. Changing plateau limit to 15 to bring out details. Changing max gain to 2 for overall contrast. And changing outlier cut to 1%, also known as tail rejection, to help focus the histogram on important details. Changing outlier cut balance from 1 to 0.1 to deprioritize the sky or cold objects. This must be changed via the SDK or configuration report tool. ACE going to 0.8 will skew the image darker. Boson Plus has an improved AGC algorithm that features higher contrast with more whites and blacks as compared to more middle grays. With an industry leading less than 20 millikelvin thermal sensitivity, this results in more contrast in scenes where there are small differences in temperature, especially in environments where it's cold, rainy, foggy, and sun starved. This wraps up our episode on AGC and tuning. For additional support, you can find more videos and application notes at fleer.com time or visit fleer.com custhelp for technical support. 
Be sure to tune into other episodes to learn more about Boson, Boson Plus, and other Teledyne FLIR thermal camera module integration. Please subscribe to our channel, and thanks for watching.